Kansas City Royals infielder Mike Avilas feels right at home at Yankee Stadium. The Bronx native who grew up in the Castle Hill section and spent many of his afternoons at the houses of grandparents on Fox Street and Leggett Avenue, just a few blocks from the ballpark, will always have a special place in his heart for his hometown and the house that Ruth built. It was Mother's Day 1997 when a 16-year-old Avilas was walking through Monument Park during batting practice and nabbed a ball that flew over the left field wall at the old stadium. His first big league souvenir came on a day when the Yankees were playing the KC Royals. Talk about a sign from above. Flash forward to 1998. Guess where his first career hit came? You guessed it, Yankee Stadium. It's always great, you know, get a chance to uh, come back to the place where, you know, I grew up playing out in all the parks around here. Um, anytime you get to come here, you get family in town, plus you're also, you know, just the atmosphere, just being around. You know, everybody always says it's, it's kind of tough to play here with all the fans and stuff, but to me it kind of feels home because I grew up around these people. I know, you know, I'm, I'm just like one of them, you know, and that's, that's, that's the good thing about it. Avilas, who later graduated from Middletown High School in upstate New York, played college baseball at Concordia nearby Bronxville. His career took off there, where Avilas was named a Division II All-American shortstop and the D2 Player of the Year in 2003 after hitting 500 with 22 homers and 65 RBIs in 45 games. you ever reminisce and think about those days playing on the San Lots at Castle Hill? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you think about it, and I was talking about it earlier with uh, Matt Trainer, our catcher, and he was asking me about, you know, how the fields were, and I was telling him how, how pretty bad they were. You know, sometimes there's glass, sometimes there's rocks, but you go out there, you don't even think about it because you're a kid and you, you want to have fun, you want to play baseball, you still have that dream, you still have that goal, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to get here. The hits just kept on coming for Avilas, who was named the 2007 Royals Minor League Player of the Year, and after a breakout rookie campaign in the majors, the Royals Player of the Year in 2008. An elbow injury ended Avilas' 2010, but now the rising star is back and looking to build off a career that started on the sandlots of the Bronx and under the bright lights of Yankee Stadium. My parents always told me, you know, never give up and to always keep, you know, always prove people wrong. And that's what I always tell people, no matter what a scout, a coach, a person, anybody tells you, it doesn't matter what their opinions you know what they are because ultimately what it comes down to is what you believe and what you feel in your heart and I know I was always confident in my ability and I knew where I could you know get to the big leagues because that's what I was I felt like I was meant to do and the one thing I would tell kids are do not ever give up on yourself the moment you give up on yourself you might as well just go pick something else to do because it's just it's not going to be there and for me my heart was always in it and I was only one thing I was going to do when I got older and I'm doing it.